Hello everybody, this is Moltrap. <clears throat> this is the game three, the game three, that's right, of, excuse me, of the OSL round of 16. This is group B, and this is game three of that group of the round of 16 of the Korean Air OSL. And this is Huashin versus Baby, and I am really looking forward to this game actually. This is gonna be a very interesting game to see how this goes. Both of these guys are one and one, and both of these guys are playing unexpectedly well uh, this season. Quashin, of course, by the way, I am I'm uploading these games. These are after the MSL group that I did, so I'm I'm gonna end up spoiling uh, some stuff about MSL while casting these OSL games because there's a few different players that are in the uh, MSL group that I cast. Um, uh, well, the couple MSL groups that I've casted that um, are also in the OSL. So Huashin and Baby are both in the MSL. And uh, Baby has gotten to the OSL round of 16 by eliminating Jadong. So um, Baby is really, really uh, proving himself to be an incredibly good player this season. He eliminated Jadong. Um, and then he's been playing really well. He beat Stork as well last week in the, this OSL group. So very strong performances recently from Baby. And not only did he eliminate Jadong in the OSL, he beat Jadong in game one of the MSL group that they were both in as well and ended up coming out of his group 2-0. Um, Jadong ended up coming out of that group second. Or maybe he beat him in the winner's match, I don't remember. But he beat Jadong... Uh, I think it was game one. Yeah, it was game one. It was game one. That's right, of that MSL group. And, uh-oh. We might be seeing um, Huashin fast expand here. Never mind, he's getting... What's, well, let, well let's, let's find out what's going on here. We've got a depot. And... Yes, quick command center. Uh, wait, let me make sure I have the colors right. Yes, Huashin is teal. So, Huashin is teal. He's command centering first. And Baby has made an early barracks a forward barracks. So he's going to be able to put some pressure on Huashin, actually. And this may... Uh, if, he, if he picks the right direction, if he goes... Okay, actually this could be good because his SCV is going to the bottom right and up to the top left as well, so never mind. But it depends on which way he sends his Marine first. He might be able to... Um, <clears throat> he might be able to do some early damage here because Huashin is just has his barracks half built right now. He sees the SCV. Uh, SCV getting tripped up a little bit. Is he going to find out this is the base? And he sees the base. He knows where it is. The Marine is heading that direction now. The Marine is heading up through the middle. It's going to cut left uh, and up to the top left there. And that actually means that the Marine is going to dodge that scouting SCV. His S scouting SCV is not going to see the Marine or anything. So he's not going to uh, really be in place to react. He's putting down a bunker. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Baby's putting down a bunker outside of his base. He's going to try and bunker rush Washington. Wow, this is like a versus Zerg fast expand, basically. He's bringing out some SCVs to try and uh, quash this expansion. The bunker is almost up. The bunker is com bunker completes. He's got two of his own SCVs there as well. He's able to attack that um, one of uh, Quash's SCVs and then stick in the bunker. So he's gone for a quick command center. <laughs> he's gone for a quick command center and he's not going to be able to use it. He's not going to be able to mine with it because, oh no, baby, don't do it. Don't do it, baby. Come on, you've got this advantage. Don't, don't blow it by wasting your Marines. Uh, I don't know why he's... I'm not exactly sure what he was hoping to accomplish by trying to run up that ramp um, since it was obvious that he had two Marines up there, now three. Anyway, at least he's going to be able to produce some more X SCVs from that... Um, from that extra command center so that when um, <clears throat> he does it when he is able to float it down there he's gonna be able to saturate those minerals pretty quickly anyway baby now has a factory it looks like baby's gonna try and expand counter expand he's about to put down a, a, a command center and he's he might end up being in a, in a very solid position going into this mid game here because uh, wow, Huashin's command center, his extra command center basically just got shut down by that bunker rush. So brilliant move by Baby here. Anyway, uh, just to go back and talk very briefly again about the, how the players are doing. Huashin is, uh, I mentioned Baby's been doing exceptionally well. Huashin has also been doing very well. He beat Movie in week one. So both these players are 1-0 and o right now. So there's a lot on the line because this it's going to be the difference between an almost guaranteed um, uh, advancement to the round of 16. I'm sorry, the round of 
of eight if you get two and zero oh, uh, versus being one and one where you're in a very precarious position and you really are forced to win that that uh, last game in order to stay in the runnings. Um, anyway, but Washington's playing playing pretty well too. He two owed his group in the MSL. Um, and uh, look at that. <laughs> the Marines going after the barracks. The SCV just waltzes right in. Um, who's going to get siege mode first, I wonder? If Baby gets siege mode first, this is going to be really bad for Washin. Uh, I don't know how close he is right now, but that bunker is getting uh, attacked. He's gonna, he can repair that bunker. Oh, siege mode for Washin. Baby's going to have to fall back, so nicely done by Washin getting that siege mode earlier. If Baby had gotten siege mode earlier, he would have been able to keep that contain even longer, and it would have been pretty bad for Washin. Uh, but as it is, he's gonna, oh, actually he's gonna try and fall back and keep that contain up while he's shelling. Siege mode is now up for baby, so he's gonna be able to keep that up and he's gonna be able to shell that command center as soon as it lands. He's gonna have to lift it right back up again and fall and not be able to transfer SCVs there. Um, although this could be bad if he gets those tanks on the tie ground. Oh, he's who siege first. Oh, he hits the, I don't think he's quite within range to hit those tanks, I'm not sure. Three tanks now on the high ground for um, Hwashin. And Hwashin says, I've got the high ground now, Anakin. Um, or I've got the high ground, Anakin, you cannot win. However it goes. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, <clears throat> now I've completely lost all train of thought by, by uh, accidentally referencing a horrible movie. <laughs> oh man, in control references that sometimes as well. Anyway, Hwashin has retaken his expansion, but Baby has had his expansion for a while now. He's going to be able to fall back to his expansion and uh, just sit on a slight economic lead now. Um, hopefully he can keep that barracks. Looks like the barracks is burning. He, he's going to lose it eventually, but... Anyway, um, so yeah, things are pretty much kind of evened out though, I gotta say. They're both even in supply, um, and they both have an expansion going, so they're pretty much sort of even in, in general there. Um, Baby is now, he's actually keeping that siege set up kind of in the middle of the map against a, a counter push by Huashin, which is interesting. I would have expected him to fall back to his base, but th that does make sense if he, he's gained ground, he doesn't want to lose ground again uh, and give up what, what ground he has gained. Um, uh, if that makes sense. <coughs> yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but he's also in a little bit of danger because he has a little bit smaller army. Uh, he's having to reinforce that, but it, because he's sieged up, uh, he has a little bit of advantage unless Washin gets in at just the extent of siege range because Baby does not have anything floating out there to spot long range. He needs to get that barracks back in action. He's got a SCV run, uh, it's run up there to, to spot that location, but he needs to get that barracks back in play and spotting for those tanks. Otherwise, Washin might be able to move in. It looks like he might be moving in right now on the minimap. He's moving something in. Um, I just, yeah, he would, he did. He moved in three tanks, and he's attacking one or two of of Baby's tanks, kind of at an edge there. So Baby is uh, gonna have to fall back or or do some better reinforcing here. He's now floating that barracks back in. He needed it a little bit earlier though to spot those tanks because those tanks went in just at the edge of siege range, and he was able to get some extra shots off. Um, against uh, Quashin tanks were able to get some extra shots off against Baby's army before he spotted them there so not too good but actually Baby coming around with some vultures from behind gonna try and pull uh, a, a, a back attack trying to plant some mines in between that siege line and the reinforcements they get spotted by this uh, this group of reinforcements actually so it's not gonna work as well but he is used, laying down a lot of mines and, uh, and doing a, a lot of distracting here and actually coming in at the right moment to pick off some SCVs as they transfer over to that new base at the uh, 12 o'clock position. Baby looks like he's trying to take that 6 o'clock base as well and uh, but it's not it's gonna be up later than Hwashin's though so Hwashin pulling ahead here he's got a little bit ahead in supply he's been hovering at 5 to 10 supply ahead actually now he's just like 2 supply ahead but um, he's been a little bit ahead in supply and now he's got an extra base on Baby mining as well so he is gonna start to really pull ahead Baby has dropships out quicker though so um, we could see him move in and, and uh, try and even things up with some vulture drops or something like that he is, he is running up here with a dropship Dropship is going in there. There's a SCV at that location that Washington's gonna be able to see that dropship coming in. I'm not, but he, and he's gonna try and respond. But vultures are gonna drop in a single vulture in the expansion to distract those tanks, and he's gonna run in his dropship and try and attack the main with the rest of his.